Willie, uh, what was the preparation like for this game? It seemed like you guys came out and really just ended things quickly. Um, we had a great week of practice. Um, just like last week, our guys came out, was really focused the entire week. And um, I got to say we had some extra incentives. You know, um, a lot of the trash talking during the week really got our guys motivated and ticked off. And um, and it was con- it was controlled ticked off. They controlled it, and um, but they prepared really well to to go out there and try to play our best ball game. Willie, over here. Over here on the right. Thank you. Um, how much did you enjoy it, Willie? Um, I wish you could see me after this. It really show you, but um, um, I, I enjoyed I enjoyed it a lot, a lot. Um, but I really enjoyed it more for our seniors. You know, for those guys to um, go out and and get a victory in Austin Stadium um, in the Civil War game before they left here was uh, really important to me and and to the rest of the team that we go out and play well for those guys. And and those guys have done everything I asked for them and and really helped um, helped change the culture in our football program. And and those guys was they didn't want to leave here uh, with another loss against Oregon State. So. Um, they they all stepped up and took care of business. So, but really happy for them. A lot of those guys had to wait a full year to get back on the field against Oregon State, and over the last week, a lot of noise coming from the north. You, you talked about that briefly, but just what was that post game locker room like right now? Um, excited. Um, they were excited. Um, just like any other win, you know, very very excited guys. Um, cheering each other. Um hugging each other, especially the seniors. Um, they had on their raincoats. Yeah. They said it was raining touchdowns. Oh. So they put on their raincoats. <laughs> Just speaking of, of your seniors, do you – how well did Royce Freeman play today? And what will the process be like as, as he examines whether or not to play in the bowl game? Uh, I don't know how that process worked. Uh, we haven't talked about that at all. You know, um, Royce played well. Royce played like he normally plays. He, he uh, Whenever he got an opportunity to go out and compete, he's going to go do it and give you everything he has. And, and it was great that he got the record today and and, and uh, got some of the yardage and things that he wanted. You know, he played well. Our offensive line did a great job. Uh, could not play well as um we didn't even talk about a bowl game, whether he play or not. You know, um, that would be up to Royce, and and if he decide to play in it, we're all gonna love that. If he decide not to, then we'll we'll um, we'll deal with that too. Seven straight scoring drives, eight of your first nine, uh, 112 yards, I think allowed in the first half. What was more impressive to you, your offense or your defense, and why? Um, I was I was really impressed with all of them, special teams too at the time. You know, um, I was both of them. They did what they was supposed to do. You know, we we talk all year about trying to play a complete ball game, and uh, those guys were feeding off each other, and and um, we got the ball, went down and, and scored, and and then uh, defense came out and did what they were supposed to. So um, they both played lights out, but they both did what they were supposed to do in this game. Uh, your season's not over yet, but your regular season is. What do you think you'll remember most? Is did this regular season go by fast for you? Did, what will you remember most from this first one in Eugene? Uh, I'm gonna remember all the wins. <laughs> Forget all the losing. No, but uh, I don't know what I remember the most. I, I remember it all. You know, it was a great experience. You know, this great. Um, it was a great learning lesson for our team. Uh, we got a lot of young guys on this football team, and and. Um, I thought throughout the season there was a lot of um, times where we had had to learn, you know, um, when we was in that losing streak, you know, again, where we could have easily gave up and just went the other way. Our guys didn't do that. You know, they they stuck together and, and that helped. And um, But I guess if there's one thing I can say is just how this football team came together, you know, and the things that I was preaching to them from the beginning about – we can't go anywhere without if we don't care about each other and if we don't play for each other. And I can um, honestly say all these young men um, care about each other now, and 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 it paid a big, big 
uh, role in our, our success this year. How, how did you decide to pull the trigger on icing the kicker before the half? You like that? That was a good call, and <laughs> that was pretty sweet. You know, uh, we didn't want him to score. You know, we had timeouts, so um, that was a long field goal. And um, at first, coach was like, "Call a timeout." Coach Levitt was like, "Coach, call a timeout." Then it was like, "Oh, we fine." Then it was like, "Well, we might as well ice him." So, uh, so let's let's ice him. Let's do it, and uh, it worked. What's that meant to your team to have uh, Justin Herbert back on the playing field these last couple weeks? <laughs> it, went, it meant the world to our football team. Uh, Justin is, is he's our franchise quarterback, you know, and, um, and not only to our, our offense, you know, I thought it, it, it meant something to our entire football team. When he came back, it just inspired everybody, uh, having him back and, and, that's just the kind of guy that he is and the kind of person, a football player that he is. He, he's special, and, and he inspired everybody else to um, play at a high level and it made a world of a difference for our football team. Jen, on the right. Uh, this was curious whose idea it was to wear the raincoats tonight. Um, I don't know. That's, we didn't wear them until the end of the game, I think. Started raining touchdowns, so they wanted to put on the rain jackets. Uh, Coach Dylan Mitchell. Dylan Mitchell, can you just talk about him a little bit? He had a great game. Uh, seems like he's improved throughout the year. Had a little injury there for a little while, but uh, seems like he's really primed for a, a great season next year. Based off this, too. Oh, oh he, he is. Um, Dylan has been a great team player. Um, throughout this entire season, you know, and I, I would say that about all those receivers. Um, they're early when they wasn't getting as many catches. Um, those guys wasn't complaining or anything. They just did whatever we asked them to do, and it, and it helped big time. But um, getting Justin back and, and allowing Dylan to, to do some of the things that he do do well was, was big, and to that, tonight's game was really big for him. But we talked, Dylan and I talked, um, and just say he's due for one of those games, you know. And it was, it was. I was glad to see that he came out and had the game that he had tonight, and uh, see the smile on his face. I know he, he appreciate this game big time. We do too. Coach, I, I apologize if this was already asked, but what does it mean to you to to win this game on your first try, and uh, you know, to can kind of get a little bit of redemption after last year and what the guys went through? Uh, it, it it meant the world. Um, I, I definitely didn't want to be that coach that go to this offseason uh, with a loss to uh, school up north. Um, didn't want to be that guy, you know, and I can I can tell how miserable it was just throughout the whole offseason. That's all you, you hear, you know, and um, then you start hearing about I knew when they pulled out the raincoat, it was over. It was over. Like, are you kidding me? But that was that team and not this team, so um, – Meant the world. Meant the world to me, meant the world to our guys, meant the world to our fan base um, to get the Ducks back in the win column.